girl, you know, say you're pretty from your band Walk out, girl, you not try hard Them girls, they're not pretty in the real life You're pretty from the girl It's so bad, I don't need any more makeup palettes, y'all I have a lot, last time kind of I had 15 I just bought another one, so I have 16 17, I think I have 17 palettes now And I have been even used Half of them, yeah it's bad. It's an obsession. It really is a fucking obsession. And I never thought I'd be this girl because I was never like a makeup girl like that. But I'm like obsessed with makeup now. It's so bad. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys already know, which you probably do if you watched my other video. I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Prism Palette. I got this when I went to Orlando. Um... I forgot the fuck I went to Atlanta. Halloween Horror Nights. I went to Atlanta for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, we stayed for a few days, like the weekend. Now my boyfriend bought this for me. So I do have this palette. It is beautiful and I still have yet to use it. Um, but I bought the Norvina palette because I saw all of the purples in it. And I was like, this is me. I need this in my life. And I thought I would do a video on it because it's new and people want to see what it looks like, especially on dark skinned women. So I thought I would go ahead and film a get ready with me, including this palette. So that's what we're going to do. So these are the colors. We're going to do something with these two colors, I believe. And maybe this because I don't want anything too crazy because I don't know what outfit I'm wearing yet. I don't know if I'm really wearing all black or if we're going to switch it up. So I'm going to try to keep it pretty like we're going to keep it low key. Low, 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 low key. All right, yeah, we're gonna keep it kind of, kind of low key today. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with passion all over the lid, which is that brown that I showed you guys here, all over the lid. You guys know I use brown as my base. Like brown is gonna always be my base because I'm just a sucker for brown bases. I just like to have like deep browns of some sorts in my crease it's just my thing no matter what color I use I know that's bad but it's bad depending on the color I use but I don't know I'm just a fan of um, of browns in my crease has a lot of fallout so it's like I'm trying to pick up a decent amount of product but it's falling out a lot so I don't know if this is like a norm with Anastasia palettes because like I said I have one but I haven't used it yet this is the first one I'm actually cracking open and using so I'm not sure if this is a norm but it is it does have a lot of fallout All right, so that's the eye so far, and this is what I mean by the fallout. I don't know if you guys can see that's like a lot of the pigment, a lot of the colors falling out. I used a little bit of a eccentric right here, and I actually liked it, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my lid. So we're gonna go ahead and get eccentric. It's like a mustardy um, yellow, this color here. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna flip the brush, and we're gonna use the shader side the correct side and I'm gonna pack this onto my leg because I'm I really oh my god that color is pretty look how good it's showing up yes it's a pretty color and I like how it looks with this 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 um brown so we're gonna go ahead and do that That's that. We're gonna flip it back around to our blending side and we're gonna blend this in a little bit. Marry these colors together so it doesn't look so harsh. Fire. Nice and simple. And then you know me, I gotta have shimmers. So 
we're gonna go in with drama and rose gold so I'm gonna put draw actually I don't know if I want to double it up actually yeah I'm gonna use drama and then I'm gonna go on top of drama with rose gold so drama is uh, this shade here right above the brown that I used and then the rose gold is here so I'm gonna pack the drama on on the outer of my V where more of that purple purplish or not purple more more of the brown is and then I'm gonna go ahead on my lid and pack on a rose gold I should do summer cuz summer is cute but the rose gold will look better with this look so here we go into drama top of the eccentric that I use oh rose gold is showing out yes honey look at that I expect it to pick up so much like to be so shimmery I like that though the payoff is awesome it's not deep enough for me so I'm gonna use another palette a little bit of brown from another palette to deepen this so because of how bright this rose gold is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of drama to the outer V just to kind of yeah boom yeah there goes drama showing up now and like I said we're gonna blend this out so we don't look all crazy passion and drama together for our lower lash line all right Ooh, there we go and now like I said we're gonna go ahead and take brown from another palette um I used I had a really really good brown in it and I was like obsessed with the brown I think it was the Give It To Me Straight. Yeah, I think it's Give It To Me Straight has like a really, really good brown. So this is the brown from the Give It To Me Straight palette. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that brown, just a little bit of it, just to deepen this up a little bit. There was no mirror on this, on this palette. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but it like cleans it up a little bit better so we deep it in this brown to this side too okay so i'm gonna take our blending side and we're just gonna slightly slightly marry the colors nothing crazy slightly make them one but they still independent y'all fan all right so that's how we're gonna do that Perfecto, look how cute that is. All right, great. So, that's the eyeshadow look from the Norvina palette. Now that we have that popping, I'm gonna get our liner done. So normally for me, I use the e.l.f. liner, literally one of my favorites, and I use a angled brush. Any angled brush should do, but I'm using the e.l.f. angled brush. And we're going to wing our liner. Now this is all right guys so that's the eyeshadow look i and i just winged put on a wing liner honestly i don't feel like putting on lashes today i don't know why i just don't <laughs> i just don't feel like having on lashes even though i know lashes will like this look will go like i just don't feel like putting on lashes so i'm just gonna be simple even though my eyelash shadow is like like i feel like i'm doing injustice if i don't put on lashes but i just really don't want to it's okay so we're just gonna use because I have pretty decent length of lashes anyways so actually before I use this um, sample uh, mascara that I got from milk the Kush mascara which I actually really love it's from benefit and it's the their real tinted primer and it's like a brown sh color and you put it on your lashes and when you put the mascara over it flawless 
So I'm actually gonna use that. I've had it for a while, it's a sample. First of all, what happened right here? What is that? Not gonna read through my, do you see that? We gonna fix it. <laughs> the troubles of doing your makeup. So, like I said, I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you look at this lash, compared to this lash, you see that like you can actually see my eyelashes here. So, we're just gonna keep applying this until my eyelashes are visible. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm gonna need myself to get it together. So now we're gonna go ahead and go in with Kush by Milk, the Kush Mascara. And this is actually a pretty decent tube for a sample. It has a lot of product in it. I always have to wipe off the excess because it's so much. And the brush is nicely, like, condensedly packed, so it literally, like, picks up every hair. I, this brush is amazing. Let me zoom in for y'all. I'm telling you that their tinted primer, a lash primer by Benefit, is literally everything and more. Like, look at my eyelashes, y'all. You would think I have falsies on. But I don't. <laughs> yes. I'm living for this mascara. All right, you look at my lower lash. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, okay. Yeah, we're not gonna do any matte lipsticks today because the way my lips is acting, we're not about to have no dry lips out here. They, they doing the most right now. So we, we gonna um, just put on some, this is Champagne Mommy, I'm not gonna use this one, but we're gonna just put on some regular, regular lip gloss and be on our way. And my share. Okay, so the last thing for us to do is to, or one of the last things to do is to highlight. I told you guys I am obsessed with this Fenty highlighter. I always use the Moscow Mule side, it looks like, and I always call it the Ginger Binge side, but it ain't. I always use the Moscow Mule side. Um, I don't, like, this side is, like, really used. So when I apply this, I use just a regular... Where's my brush? I use a regular uh, precision foundation brush. Something shaped as such, somewhat like tapered-ish foundation brush is what I use when I apply my highlighter. Um, I tried the fan and I just don't like how the fan works, so we don't use the fan. So let me just zoom in so you guys can see me applying this. And then you know what? Today I'm actually gonna layer a little bit of Ginger Binge on top of Moscow Mule. We're gonna go a little crazy with the highlighter today. Cause the bitch just wanna shine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yes. I don't like my nose highlight to be too shining, so I think that it's shining a little too much. So, I'm gonna go in again with my beauty blender and my leftover product. We're just gonna dim it down a little bit. That's like my tip to anybody when they ask me and they're like, well, when you mess up, what do you do? I'm like, girl, I take what's left over my beauty blender and I dab it over where the, the imperfection is and it takes care of it. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of blush um, because like, I'm just not a fan of it. But I did get this one, which I, sh I have used before this one is swift by color pop and it's like a brown color and usually what I do is I kind of press it onto my cheeks like such you can see it there that's how I apply it I press it on and then I use the brush that I was using for my um, contour and I kind of just blend it in yeah that's kind of what I do because that works best for me um, using my fingers doesn't do anything so it's better when I press it onto my skin. There goes the blush. And you can see it. It's there. So what I'm going to use is the Deep Dark No Filter Sheer Press Powder from ColourPop. And I use a powder brush. This one is by e.l.f. We're just going to swirl it. And set our face. 
And again, this is kind of like marrying everything together. I know I've been using that term all day, but that's what you want to do. You want to make sure everything is like seamless. So when you set your foundation, it kind of, it literally brings everything together. The thing I like about this is it's, it is super sheer, so it doesn't give you like, it doesn't change the look of your foundation. Like it's not making my foundation darker, it's not making it lighter. It is really just kind of smoothing everything over. So I'm actually low key obsessed with this palette and it's crazy uh, or this um powder and it's crazy because I use this during the week as like my makeup like when I just want to look like somebody because during the week especially when I'm going to work I don't really be beating my face like that. I have my moments but like nah like you see this beat I don't do this for work because it's just pointless to me and ain't nobody there to impress like no I'm good. <laughs> So I don't really beat my face like that. Like I know how I be looking when I'm outside of work. I don't really gotta prove nothing nobody there. So um, I'll be doing all that. But for during the week, I do use this as like just my pressed powder all over my face. So now that that is done, before I set, I'm gonna go ahead and find one of these ColourPop lip glosses to use. I'm obsessed with these lip glosses and I have so many matte lipsticks by ColourPop, but like these lip glosses are everything and they show up as well. They each have like their own little personalities and they show up so well, especially on women of color. They actually look really good. So I'm gonna use Fantasia. It's like a nudie, it's like a nudie type of brown. I have a video on these, so if you want to see how they look and how they apply, I'm going to link it down below for you guys. But this is what I'm using today. So let me just get me a little mirror. Just apply this. And I don't use lip liners with these because it's really not necessary. But if you're a person who likes to put on your, your brown liner and then your lip gloss, then you go for it, sister. But I don't. The lip gloss i make sure i throw this in my bag because in case i gotta reapply all right so that's fantasia on the lips and that is the completed look 